Hi, it's Anna from Skycom Solutions. I know that our channel is full of different reviews or IT updates, but today I want to talk about something simple but very helpful, which is a multiple monitor setup for Windows 11. Nowadays, more and more workplaces support remote work or you have conference room with multiple monitors set up or just your work desk has a couple of monitors for your convenience of working. This video is built to make your experience with setting them up, doing all the settings, very stress-free, very easy and step-by-step. -step. First of all, today I have Lenovo ThinkVision T24i30, Lenovo ThinkVision P27H30. Depending on your preference and your monitor mount, you can keep it horizontally only, or you can have it in the ported orientation as well. If you have a wall mount, also depends on your mount. Sometimes you're able to turn it vertically or you just keep it horizontally. It's up to you. But all the settings are on your laptop. So any monitor will support vertical alignment of your monitor. When you plug your monitors in, you need to connect it to your laptop. And one of the most popular cables is HDMI. And here's a zoom in for this. And more modern monitors has a USB-C type of a cable. And here's a zoom in for you. If you have an older model of a monitor, they might use DVA to HDMI cable. And another one is VGA to VGA, but you have to use a DisplayPort adapter because modern laptops and pretty much most of the computers already don't have the VGA port on them. All right, so let's just go right in and plug them in. I am plugging in my HDMI and I'll plug in my USB-C. I did plug those monitors beforehand, so we'll see how my laptop remembered the setup with those. We can see that this one immediately showed up as horizontal and this one immediately showed up as vertical. I will show you how I adjust that because when I plugged it in for the first time, my monitor was horizontal. So let's just go right into settings. So right click on your desktop, hit display settings. And all we see, um, it identifies three different monitors. One of them is vertical and two of them are horizontal. I hit identify and I have different numbers appearing on each of the monitors in the bottom left corner. So what I have is my, if I hit identify, I see the number on the bottom left corner which says which number of the monitor it is on the scheme and in the setup. Right now I have monitor one and three duplicated, which is this monitor in my laptop monitor. And number two is a vertical. Um, if I duplicate displays, it shows exactly the same image on two of my displays, exactly what's going on here, it's showing up here. You can see that I'm screen recording. Um, and the second one stays as it was. To change the orientation on that monitor, you just scroll down and go to display orientation under scale and layout. And there is a couple of options depending, did you rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise? Sometimes you can use just a portrait. So I hit just portrait right now and you can see that it's upside down right now. My picture is upside down. Or if I want to fix that, I just hit portrait flipped and it goes back to normal. If I want to extend my displays, um, I will just click on my duplicated displays and hit extend desktop, desktop on one and three. Okay. And can I hit identify, C1, number three and number two, same as it shows up on my uh, scheme setup. If your setup on the scheme does not match your actual setup on your table, what you can do, you can easily drag and drop um, those little monitors all around. And it's not only dropping them to left and right, but you can also put them on the top of each other, especially if you have a mount, uh, that might be very helpful. Um, so in that case, when your mouse travels 
around, you will not lose it. Another little trick is if you lost your mouse pointer, um, hit control key twice. If that doesn't happen and you see no difference, then go to settings, go to mouse settings, go down and go to additional mouse settings, pointer options and show location of pointer when I press control key, just enable this button and hit okay. So, and now uh, after enabling that option, if you lose your mouse all around your monitors, imagine you have four monitors set up, white background and white uh, pointer, you can see it, just double click control or even once click control and you see a little circle appearing around your mouse to show where it is. Okay, what is the main monitor? Main monitor is a monitor that has all your desktop folders and files, as well as a taskbar with all the uh, calendar folders and the programs that you pinned to it. I would recommend to keep the main monitor, the one that you look at the most, um, just because you don't wanna miss any notifications that come. Scaling is very important, especially if you're working with video editing or like heavily graphic design programs because you don't wanna have this distortion to affect your final output. So in order to do that, you just click on each separate monitor, go down and go to scale and go to display resolution. Most of the time, the recommended one will be the right one for you uh, because it shows the highest possible resolution for that specific type of screen. So for example, I switch to my portrait oriented monitor and then go down, I see that it changed depending on the dimensions of that specific monitor. If you wanna change your main mo main display to another one, for example, I prefer my vertical one to be my main display. I just select it here and click make, my, make this my main display. And here we go. Last but not least, you need to know how many monitors you can connect to your laptop at the same time. And there is a couple of things it depends on. The first of all, of course, is GPU or your graphic processing unit. It ha takes the heaviest load. The dedicated or integrated GPU um, determines how many um, high resolution monitors at which refre refresh rate and uh, image quality it can have connected at the same time. For example, Intel Iris Xe can support up to three monitors at the high refresh rate while dedicated GPU like NVIDIA um, can support up to four monitors at the same time, depending on the different model of the GPU. Another one um, also fairly important is your CPU and your RAM. While GPU does the most of the work, the weak CPU and RAM can cause lag when running multiple monitors, especially if you're doing heavily graphic oriented tasks. Another one, if you are connecting multiple monitors through the docking station, some of the docking stations might, might have limitations, especially USB-C ones, that they can only duplicate the monitors but not extend them. So it's also something important to keep in mind. And the last but not least is your bandwidth. Laptops must have multiple ports like HDMI, USB-C, Display Port, Mini Display Port, Thunderbolt, but some of them might share bandwidths with each other. So what is bandwidths? Bandwidth refers to the amount of data that can be transmitted through port or cable per second. When it comes to displays, it means the higher refresh rate and resolution, the more bandwidth you need and multiple monitors equals more data equals more bandwidths required. So for example, let's say you're, uh, you're using a USB-C um, DisplayPort 1.4 to work with your monitors. That port might support 32.4 gigabits per second of bandwidth. If the monitor is running at 4K resolution at 60 Hertz, it will require 12 gigabits per second of bandwidth at a time, which means you can use two 4K monitors at 60 Hertz at the same time. So you'll, um, through that specific port, so we'll use a splitter for that. So what happens if you run out of bandwidth while using multiple monitors? First of all, you, your refresh rate and quality of the image will struggle. Secondly, uh, sometimes you won't be able to extend the monitors, you will just um, duplicate them instead. 
or port will just stop working for you. So when you are considering using multiple monitor setup, check with your laptop requirements and compatibility when making that choice. Hope this video was useful. If you have any questions left, please drop them in the comments below. It was Anna from Skycom Solutions. See you in the next video. Bye.